Do you want to jumpstart your labor or at least threaten your uterus before induction? Raspberry tea leaf. That one. Pineapple. Nipple stimulation. Out. Walk the stairs. Bounce at the edge of your bed. You don't have to have bounce balls. I need your help. I'm coming. See? Like that. And finally, intercourse. Those sperm, get those sperms. Hello, my beautiful people. I am 37 weeks and officially full term. So from tomorrow, baby, you can come. <laughs> and I won't be scared because that will be full term. The baby wouldn't be considered premature anymore from tomorrow or from today or something, but 37 weeks and up. And um, my last doctor's appointment, when they checked, I was one to two centimeters dilated. But even before then, when one of the times I went to the ER, they said I wasn't fully closed. So I can't count that as anything because I've had other kids. So that can actually make sense, you know. But if it's what it is, I already started my regimen to help induce labor or make it faster because my doctor is thinking of inducing me at 39 weeks because of some, so many things going on. So 39 weeks, which means in two weeks, in two weeks, I'll be having this baby. I just can't believe it. It's been a long time coming. I can't show you my baby bump because of the dress. I can't really show you my actual stomach because of the dress, but that's a baby bump. Now, let's talk. Thinking of inducing your label naturally. I didn't think I'd be doing this video, but I was like, you know what? So last pregnancy, I was induced twice with my both of my kids. So uh, one at 40 weeks, one at 39 weeks. So this time I said, no, what can I do? You know, so that when and oh, for the first one, it was just like eight hours of labor, like induction and all that stuff before epidural and I was dilated and we had him. But the second one was 16 to 18 hours of, <laughs> of pain and agony. And then they increased the pitocin, the induction, you know, um, drip and all that stuff. And guess what? And then I got epidural after 18 hours overnight. I started at 3 and I got epidural at 3 p.m. And I got epidural the next day at 11 a.m. So this time I have to take action, you know, so that even if we're going through induction route, if this baby doesn't come before then, it will be quicker and faster. Now, and also, also the different thing is that... <laughs> One of the things that can help, like I've read, is, you know, intercourse, the semen. Last, the other pregnancies, my husband wasn't here in America, so it was just, you know, me. But this time I'm going to try, you know, hopefully with the semen it can help, you know, intercourse, if that's supposed to help. And if you are feeling like me most of the time, that doesn't even want to be touched, even if we still want to do it because our partner needs us, you know, so... If you feel like you don't want to be touched and stuff like that, you can actually masturbate. And then if you have orgasm and other stuff, it will help your womb contract. That can also help, you know, with that. But, you know, of course, nipple stimulation, go for bumpy rides or, you know, climb the stairs. Thank God we have one stair, so I climb multiple times a day. And also the pineapple one. I don't want to do anything tea. But I was like, you know, well, raspberry tea, I take a lot of teas. Not a lot, like the other one with the caffeine in it to help me. When I really, really have a lot to do, so with um, a little bit of caffeine, so the raspberry tea I'm gonna rule for that. I warm up today and then see if I can do that one. And you know, I will start doing from 37 weeks so that by the time it's we're 39 or 38, you know, things will be doing itself and um, doing um what it's supposed to do. What else? I told you, I said the pineapple raspberry tea. But I'm not doing the primrose oil. I'm not doing anything that might jeopardize my health. Even the raspberry tea, if I don't see it, I'll leave it alone. But other than that, yeah, these are all the things I will be doing this time. How do I feel? Oh, pain. Lower back pain versus, I don't know, lower back pain versus contraction, Braxton Hicks. Like, it's like, I don't have periods, but, gosh, I don't have periods, but 
<laughs> that pain it makes me remember my menstrual cramp days and all that stuff. But um, oh, I, apart from that, last week I had what do you call it? It was a whole lot of heartburn. But this time I think too the baby went down as light lightning is occurring. So heartburn is a lot, a lot, a lot more relieved. But <laughs> when I'm walking, when I'm walking and I'm not walking that much. I'll be waddling because I feel like the baby is all the way here and I'll be waddling sometimes when I do a lot of shopping and a lot of standing at Walmart. Okay, so I'm going to take this hair off and next week is our baby shower. It's my baby shower, the three one for me. So I guess I'll be making that video too because I didn't even plan to have one or make any additional video until I pack my bags. Um, well, that's it. So stay tuned. So this is the pineapple we got from Walmart. I hate pineapples, I hate how it makes my teeth feel. But I'm 37 weeks, so the baby's full time. So excited! And of course, my favorite mangoes. I'll go back and check for raspberry tea today. Nipple stimulation can be another very good way of helping. I think with my last child, I did mostly. Um, I tried to do with the pineapple. I started eating pineapple lately. I mean, as of when I was due, about 40 weeks. And then, apart from pineapple, and then I tried nipple stimulation, but I always forget, like once a week. But anyway, so you're basically gonna grab your nipple and try to roll it. Five minutes. For five minutes, you know, just imitate like it's a baby who is um, trying to breastfeed do five minutes and then you do the other one five minutes you do it one at a time and then wait for 15 minutes before you repeat but for me i probably will just do it two times a day i mean two times a day yeah if i remember if not just once a day because i'm very sensitive and i hated it like so and i'm very sensitive with this particular breast so that really that hurts a little bit but at least that'll help me practice for when it's time to actually breastfeed the baby now, the second thing is I have breast pump. You can use a breast pump and try to, but I doubt if people really have all that time to start doing that, you know, with every other thing you're doing, if you have other kids. So you can use the breast pump and then all your partner's mouth, you know, which is so, 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 like with nipple stimulation, you can have control on what you do. But your partner's mouth, I don't know where that leads. <laughs> and also, I mean, your, you know, of course, your man or your husband or whatever. And also, at this point of pregnancy, I don't know if other people are like me with low libido, libido or not knowing how to, you know, not finding a very comfortable position. That's another thing. So, it's kind of hard to want to, like, let anybody touch you. But, you know, you doing it is because you're like, okay, you know what, I think I have to do it. Stuff like that. So, yeah, that's the part for the nipple stimulation part. And these stairs, I go up and down the stairs a whole lot, oh. several times a day. So, here we go. It's good to have, you know, you can exercise and go up and down the stairs, ride, or go for a bumpy car ride rather. Go up and down the stairs, do exercise, and then bumpy ride. So, I spread my legs. And I walk faster. That's how <laughs> I will be understood non stop since I still have to go take care of other things downstairs, like cook and all that. So it's just one flight of stairs, go up and down. So that can also help push that baby down there. And then I am cramping. Like I finished the post stimulation, I was cramping. <coughs> Down the stairs and so I write that this can actually help jumpstart the chamomile tea can help actually help jumpstart your label. So I'll be doing like one one tea bag a day. This one is a lot more cheaper and I think this one is two dollars. But I'm gonna go for the organic one, even if it's only 16 wraps, and that price is like what's the price about 4.98. So I'm just gonna go with that one 
and by the time I finish it it's just two weeks then my um, what do you call it whether if it doesn't work my my induction will be scheduled already and I'm able to read on what the ingredients are on this one so I couldn't find the raspberry leaf tea I'll just go with this one. Oh my gosh I didn't even check what aisle it says on this Walmart last one I said I ate so I found it raspberry leaf tea raspberry leaf tea I'm still gonna take the other one though because this time I am not about to go through at least more than six hours worth of labor after you know induction starts so I'm gonna take this one one a day I'm definitely gonna forget <laughs> I'm definitely gonna forget it he's <laughs> laughing at me but between that one a day one a day I'm gonna make that my routine so that by the time we're 39 weeks 38 weeks the baby can think of that coming in 39 weeks you know when they start inducing us that'll be good all right guys let's go I am now happy that I found this so happy now we can go home is you can actually bounce on your you know bounce at the edge of your bed you don't have to have a bounce ball like so and yeah I finally get to show you guys because I just changed my clothes straighten your yes guys Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Probably a baby shower video. I hope you enjoy it. Stay strong, mamas. You are almost there. Almost there. Almost there. I said hiccups. I said cramp. Hard bun. Nothing else. You don't really have much other symptoms. It's, of course, too much movement. Too much baby movement. Um, which is okay. It's just getting stronger and painful. Uh, other than that, nothing else. See ya.